Hello and welcome. I am the mom teacher and I'm bringing you today the continuation of Sam and Matt. This one is Sam Sat. It's a simple reader by Scholastic and it has a lot of verbs in there. We're going to talk a lot about the past tense and ways to indicate that something has already happened. And afterwards, we're going to do a short writing about things that we can do and possibly even things we do with our friends. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe for more. This terrific story called Sam Sat. And in that story, Poor Sam, he wasn't feeling very good and his friend Matt came to cheer him up. So let's write a little today now that we've read Sam Sat about things that we can do and maybe even include some feeling words in our writing today. We're definitely going to write at least two sentences because that's where we are in our writing now. Here we go. So I am thinking of something that I can do that's really more fun with two people. So I'm going to start with the sight word I. And I start in the upper left hand corner with a straight line down and horizontal lines across on the top of the bottom. I. I. I like. Do you know how to spell the sight word like? Two finger space between words. L, right, I, K, E, like. I like. I like to. That's an easy sight word. You know that one. Another space to separate our words because we know. Writing is very hard to read if you don't put in the spaces between the things that you're saying. I like two. Now, let's see where that two finger stays got me. And I know that two is T O. I like to dance. Dance. D, 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 dance. Dance begins with a D. d. And I know that I need another space in there and that this letter D begins with the letter C. C comes before D and gets a straight line down. D, A, 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 Dance. I like to dance. Now, I could use a period here or an exclamation depending on the amount of expression I want when I read it. I could say, if I want a period, I like to dance. And my voice stays fairly even throughout the entire sentence. Or, if I'm really enthusiastic, I could say, I like to dance. Hmm, what should I use? What do you think? I am enthusiastic when I dance, so I am going to put an exclamation mark. Now, Sam sat through the whole story until his friend Matt invited him and kind of tugged. Oh, wait, that's the ED ending. We didn't really see that in our story. That word in the story was tugs, but he tugged him into participating with him and then he got happy. So I'm wondering, I'm gonna ask you a question. Now I am, once I do my two finger space, out of room to fit many more letters. So I'm coming back underneath my uppercase I to make my uppercase W. Now, the reason I switched to the uppercase version here is because we're starting a new thought. We had ending punctuation here, so 
our sentence begins with an uppercase letter because we know that the uppercase letters are for the beginning of sentences and for proper nouns or names of things. And we're starting a new sentence, so I use the uppercase W. What? I, I, I. Lowercase I. Back to the lower cases now. I've used my uppercase. What? Ill. Letter L. And this is one of those silly words that has the double L on the end. Do we know why? Not really, but it does. Will. My next word is, two finger space, U. Spell it with me. Y. And then it has that line breaker line. O. U. Will you dance? I've already used the word dance once. Maybe we should go back and read and then I'll just be able to copy it on this part of my writing. I like to dance. Will you? I want that word dance again. So two finger space and I can just copy it. D A N S. Will you dance with? Outer room again. I've got to do with over here. With W I who says the mad H brother T H T H Will you dance with Can you anticipate my final word in this one? I bet you thought it was me, and you were right. I'm putting in my last space, and I'm doing me, which is M-E. Now this, will you dance with me? You heard my voice go up at the end, and that usually happens when we're asking something, and then it gets a question mark. Let's go back and read the whole thing. I like to dance. Will you dance with me? Will you dance with me? I know that you will. You guys are excellent dancers and excellent writers and readers. Thank you so much for joining me today, boys and girls. I had a good time and I hope that you did too. If you liked what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below for more from The Mom Teacher. Thanks.